Hey Libra, I'm going to do your weekly forecast for December 7th to the 13th. This is just a general message for like love and career and finances. Um, just take what resonates. Don't be too, you know, serious with like what I'm saying here. I'm just kind of doing this for fun, for something to do in the morning. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do like three romance angel cards. Um, a word for the week you need to know. And then like a seven day, I call it a forecast, but like a weekly spread of like what's going to happen for the week for you. Um, but yeah, once again, this is just for fun. Don't take what I say seriously. I'm not trying to be mean or like give you false hope or anything or, um, or make a bad situation into something. I'm just trying to have fun here and do some cards. Um, maybe give you some good fortune for the week. It could be good. Who knows? But yeah, so this could be for sun, moon, rising, um, Venus, Jupiter of Libra. You don't have to be a Libra. You could be a cross watcher. So it's just for fun here. Um, if you want to know, I got the Dalmatian Jasper here to the side. Just for some good luck here. Bring some good energy. But yeah, I'm going to do three cards. And this is just general cards, like kind of what's going on, like situations. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to grab two more. Okay. So the first one that came out was religious factors. Your love life is uh, influenced by religious factors here. Okay. Uh, deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. Maybe hiding truths to you here. And then also it is safe for you to love. So maybe you've been closed off, not really accepting love into your life here. So it's telling you this week you need to be more open-minded here. What's a word Libra needs to know? Whoa. Ooh, that scared me. Okay, so balance. Okay, and that's like your sign too is the scale. So you need a balance here. So that's great. I have countless opportunities each day to create balance, joy, and freedom within my life. So yeah, it's kind of funny. Your card came out for yourself for the week. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a weekly spread here of what's going to happen for your week of the 7th to the 13th, which the 13th is my birthday. So awesome. Hopefully good vibes for everybody. Okay, what's going to happen Monday for Libra here? Okay, Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like here... You're not really going to speak to somebody. You're going to be kind of um, bitter and distant, not talking. Maybe refusing to speak your truth here to somebody. I feel like maybe if you do speak, you're going to be kind of bitter and like kind of upset about something from the past that happened maybe between a person. Okay, you got the temperance. It's like you're trying to remain cool and balanced. That's why you're not speaking. Let's get one more. Okay, the King of Cups in reverse, but you're still kind of um, being kind of distant and cold towards this person. You're not really speaking here. You're, like, wanting to remain calm, but it's, like, you're still not really speaking or showing any affection towards somebody. Okay, Tuesday for Libra. What's going on here? Okay. Two of Wands, you're making a decision uh, which direction you want to take for something here. It could be between, you know, two places or two people. It doesn't have to be. Okay, you got the Three of Swords in reverse. You're like walking away from some that hurt your heart here, some that broke you. And it caused a lot of pain. We're moving on from it here, which is great. Okay, let's get another one for the Two of Wands for Tuesday. Four of Swords, but it still left you feeling kind of restless and upset. You're losing sleep over this situation, I feel like. Um, it's like you're telling yourself to, like, move on from it, but I feel like you still haven't. You're still, like, weighing out, you know. I feel like you're still thinking about this situation heavily. Like, you tell yourself you moved on, but you still aren't. Okay, what's going to happen Wednesday for Libra here? Okay, two of Cups, maybe some kind of reconciliation with an ex here or your soulmate. 
feel like you guys are going to come together maybe and speak. Let's get more into it. Okay. Ten of Swords in reverse. It's going to uh, cause you to not feel um, hurt anymore. You're going to be um, not thinking about the hurt this person caused maybe or somebody else. You're just going to move on from some kind of heartache here. Seven of Cups in reverse. You're just going to not be confused in this connection anymore. Um, it's going to be more clear. You're going to get clarity from it, I feel like. Okay, Thursday for Libra. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Someone's going to come in, give you some kind of offer. Um, it could be just like a casual offer. It don't have to be anything super, like, I don't see anything like real intense with this offer, but it could be just like them wanting to like see you and like offer you a little bit of something like maybe a nice date or something let's see whoa okay got the page of swords the other one to speak to you with the nine of swords i feel like it's gonna be like maybe like a playful young like speak like they're just uh they want to like come see you maybe for something like sweet like a cup of coffee or something not super like intense but i feel like they're wanting to talk to you maybe about like uh, maybe about your children or um maybe talking about just like small talk like you know you guys are just gonna have like a small conversation but it's like gonna be something good though it's not anything bad okay friday got the okay the king of swords in reverse now someone's kind of refusing to speak here about something or you're refusing to speak to somebody you got the five of pentacles you're leaving somebody out here Okay, with the strength, you're not feeling strong, there's some kind of connection. I feel like you're not really telling this person that, so you're just kind of walking away and not saying anything. Okay, what's going on Saturday for Libra here? A lot of cards fell out, and they get... Okay, you got the sun, so some kind of positive change here today. Um, you're going to feel very positive and happy in some kind of situation. Let's see why for Saturday. So that's good. Okay. Page of Wands. Maybe someone came towards you here with a judgment. Someone came towards you. You're making a judgment call. Um, but I feel like here, you or them, like you're coming towards somebody and you're making a judgment call on it. Overall, you're going to feel happiness with this um, action. It doesn't have to be anything super, yeah, I don't get anything super, like, um, intense with this. Just, like, maybe a little action, like, they're just hanging out with you or something. Or hanging out, like, with your children or, okay. But Sunday, you have the Seven of Wands. So, I feel like you're being very, like, defensive here. Um, kind of guarding yourself from being from other people for some reason. Like, you're just feeling kind of guarded here. Let's see. Maybe you're just not letting people in your life here. Or just wanting to, like, isolate today. Okay. So, yeah, you got the star. Okay, so it's like you're feeling hopeful about some new cycle, but it's like you're still not trusting it with the seven of wands. Um, I feel like there is going to be some kind of new opportunity, but it's like you're still keeping yourself guarded and not thinking about, you know, like, too heavily into it. It's like you're just still keeping yourself, like, away for some reason. Okay, Libra, so that was your weekly um, forecast here. Um, I had fun doing your guys' reading. I would like it if you guys liked, subscribed to my channel, shared it, told people about it. Um, I'm going to watch this grow. I'm going to continue posting like a couple days a week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful um, day, a wonderful week coming up. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all. You guys are so sweet. Thank you.